Hi, so this is me, Lori, from earlier. What did I do with my chicken I cooked in my Instapot? So here's my chicken. It's nice and cold. I've had it in the refrigerator for a couple hours now. And I went ahead and I cut up a whole onion. I'm going to make a lemon off galamono soup, which is Greek lemon chicken soup. So there's my onion. I'm gonna keep chopping this up. Lemon chicken soup is the most delicious soup I've had. I ate this quite a bit when I was pregnant with one of my kids, my third child. I love eating Greek soup. And then, and I used to go to a restaurant um, that was by my house that ended up going out of business and I loved their food. It was so amazing. So when I found this recipe recently, um, my son and I were at the library and this author had written a book that had the lemon chicken soup in it and I was so excited. My son picked out, my eight year old picked out this book at the library. So I didn't even pick it out myself which I thought was awesome. And this soup recipe was in there. I was like, oh my gosh, if that's my favorite, I have to make that soup. So far, I've made it like five times after we've gotten the book. Like it was just maybe six months ago that he found it. And I've made it, well, maybe more than that. I don't know. I love the soup. So like once a month, twice a month, I've made it. So it takes quite a bit of onions. It takes the whole chicken. It takes eight cloves of garlic and like five carrots, a bunch of lemon juice, and white rice. I have to cut my onions as small as I can because my husband, he hates onions. to make this as quick as I can because my daughter has a flag football game at the high school and I have to leave my house in like geez 30 minutes so hopefully this will cook quickly you start off by sauteing your onions have to cut them until they're translucent. Now one of the things I love, some of the things I love about this soup is that it's packed with protein. It has a whole chicken in here. It has tons of carrots and celery and also it has eggs in there. So you take four, I believe it's four egg yolks, yeah, four egg yolks and going to beat them up until soft peaks form and then you're going to add actually you beat the whites up until soft peaks form then you're going to add the yolks back in after you first you separate then you beat the whites together then you add the yolks back in and you just mix them barely in and that goes into the soup so the soup has quite a bit of protein with the whole chicken in there as well so I have the onions and the garlic going here Once that's done, I'm going to throw in the carrots and the celery and then add in some seasonings. While that's going, I'm going to start chopping up my chicken here. So, um, there's really not much to getting the meat off this chicken. You just have to kind of have at it. Make sure you don't get any bones in there with it. And one of the things that I love about using the entire chicken like this is that you get white and dark meat together. So it's like the best of both worlds. If I were to just buy chicken breast at the store, it's not going to be as tender as the dark meat in my soup. So you just kind of rip in, take off pieces, and shred away. You can chop a little bit with your knife as well as you go. Oh my gosh, so I managed to spill like all of, well, 
not all, but some of my dig out the fridge when I was taking it out. And it's on my Birkenstocks, damn it. Dog likes it. This is what's going on here. Let's try to simply pour this broth back in. Okay, so when I was shopping for these chickens, I actually managed to spill raw chicken juice on my Birkenstocks, my brand new pair. And then now I actually have chicken broth juice from those chickens on my Birkenstocks as well. This is not good. So I'm bringing the soup to a boil. I have to get my celery and my onions nice and tender. Okay, so I'm trying to get this finished up because, like I said, my daughter has a flag football game that is happening very shortly. So I am separating my eggs, and then I have to use my beater to beat the whites to soft peaks. And then I have to squeeze my lemons. I need about six lemons. After I incorporate the eggs in, I'm going to put the lemon juice in. And I already put a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of black pepper. I put two cups of leftover rice I had. I'll put in I stirred that in there and then all I have to do left is I have to squeeze off these lemons six lemons I'm gonna add it to it and I decided I'm just gonna pour it all into my instant pot so that um, I can get out of here and go to the football game I had to transfer my avocado mono soup back to my instant pot on warm mode for a few hours because I had to go to my daughter's flag football game um, but I did cook this on the stove. It does, I haven't tried it in my Instapot fully. I don't see why it wouldn't work out, but it seems like it's a big enough batch that I just felt like I had to do it on the stove. But I'm sure I could do the entire thing in the Instapot now that I realize it actually does fit in my Instapot. Um, but I transferred it back in here just for warming only. So there you have it. A delicious warm meal from that whole chicken I had cooked earlier in this Instapot. Shredded it, added it into this soup. Super easy, super delicious, super healthy. I mean, this soup has six lemons. It has eight cloves of garlic. has a whole chicken. It has chicken broth, carrots, celery, a whole onion. And this will serve about 12 meals. Now, this recipe I found from the library. And I will put a link in the description below. I hope you enjoy. See you next time. Run, 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 run! 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 Run, 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 run!